Hi there, this is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films and welcome to another random review. Today's random review is Swallow, a film from 2019, um, directed by Carlo Mirabella Davis, his debut feature. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on with this channel this year. Um, I've done a random review of a film from 2021. And I think this is my second random review of a film from 2019. Um, very strange. So this is the second sight special edition release. Um, a nice booklet. Um, art cards. Lots of um, lovely images and um, essays. Um, there's several essays um, and nice images from the film. It's a very nice looking film, I have to say. Um, and the actual disc, which is probably the most important thing of the release. Um, you get a commentary with the director, Carlo Mirabella Davis, and producers Molly Asher and Minette Louis. Um, a personal story, a new interview with the director, um, there's an interview with the producer, there's an interview um, with the editor, I believe, um, with the composer of the music, um, Alexandra Heller Nicholas, as a video essay on the film, and it includes the director's 27 minute short film, Knife Point, which got shown at Sundance and that kind of got him on his way um, that's from 2009 so the film itself Swallow is really the sister film in a strange world of Butt Boy now you know I don't miss a chance to squeeze Butt Boy in somewhere um, so Butt Boy is the wonderful story of a man who puts objects up his bottom um, and swallow as no doubt you'll kind of realize is about a woman who starts swallowing objects there is a name for that pica p-i-c-a it's a condition that the medical world doesn't really know exactly what the reason is. Um, it can be from trauma or, um, for example, during pregnancy it can be um, started from an iron deficiency. So women can start swallowing metal objects or whatever. Um, so, and swallow is definitely from previous trauma or an issue um, that this woman has, played by Hayley Bennett, it gives a really good performance. Um, the support by David Raish, good old sledgehammer, he plays her not understanding father-in-law. So she plays essentially a trophy wife. Um, she kind of came from poor background and she married this guy who's now become the youngest CEO of the company run by David Raish, his son. Um, so she is in this really wonderful modern house, beautiful, but she's pretty much just trapped there all day. We don't see her in the outside world much at all. Um, just in other rooms and hospitals or whatever. But we don't really see the outside world from her perspective. She's pretty much just in this glass house, essentially, all day um, as the trophy wife, while the 
her husband is the go-getter. The film has a kind of 50s feel, even though it's set in the present day. Um, Haley Bennett's outfits are very 50-ish, 50s-ish. Um, and it's probably because the story, listening to the interview um, with Mirabella Davis, who comes across as being a nice young man, um, it's kind of based loosely on his grandmother, who in the 50s and 60s um, was a homemaker and she was a compulsive hand washer. But as he says, hand washing isn't very dramatic, so that's why he changed it to pika and swallowing objects. Um, and obviously at the time, the medical community wasn't that understanding, or society wasn't that understanding at the time. So she got put into a mental, in mental institution. Um, she had... Um, electroshock treatment and various other treatments. She also had a lobotomy done on her, um, which went wrong and she lost her sense of taste and smell and um, she did not have a good time. So basically that's, the film is kind of loosely inspired by his grandmother. Um, so as the title of the little video essay with him says, it is a personal story. Um, so the character in the film, as she is isolated and she doesn't really fit in with um, her husband or her parents-in-law, um, we only hear her own mother on the telephone, we never see her um, mother. She starts swallowing objects. Um, and just like Butt Boy, um, those objects start to increase from a marble um, to the little pin to a battery, um, which is obviously quite dangerous because if it starts leaking, you've got an acid full of stomach. An acid full of stomach? You've got a stomach full of acid even. Um, and... As this process um, progresses, she becomes pregnant. Um, and again, like I said, pica can occur in pregnant women for iron deficiencies in the brain somehow. Um, women can start eating metal objects. Again, it is a bit of a mystery why compulsive eating of things that aren't food actually happens. Um, we obviously need to cut more people's brains open. So she gets hospitalised, sorry, during an ultrasound at the hospital, um, the couple are looking at the baby and then there's more objects on the scan and then she's taken in and there's a wonderful scene of a camera inside her and they're taking out objects and laying them out on a table in a nice order, as the director says, kind of like an archaeological dig. Um, and she herself keeps the objects that she swallows. She gets them back through the process of nature and big rubber gloves. And she puts them on her own kind of desk at home. Um, so she gets psychiatry, um, which I'm not actually sure is a word. And obviously the family is putting pressure on her because she's pregnant, you know, to get this problem solved. Um, like I say, David Raish is the, the head of the, the patriarch. Um, he obviously doesn't understand what's going on um, and he's threatening her with divorce if he doesn't get it sorted out because he's um, affecting his son, you know, because she doesn't, she accidentally, for example, irons his silk tie, which is the only one that matches his shirt, so he has to change his shirt, you know, it's such a 
terrible crime that she commits. Um, I mean, I would say one of the problems is that the her husband and her mother and father-in-law are all fine performances, but the characters are so obviously arseholes and it could do with maybe being a little bit more balanced. I mean, because we're on her side from the get-go just because these people are terrible people. Um, so I think they could have been a little bit more nuanced. Um, and yes, it is a difficult thing for people to understand why you know, one of their loved ones would start swallowing objects. Um, but the, so their characters could be a little bit more nuanced, but they really are just symbols of capitalism and greed and kind of um, not understanding what other people are going through. But again, it's perhaps like a one note portrayal of the rich compared with the poor um, whereas it could have been perhaps a little bit more nuanced than that um, but the film is really about Hayley Bennett's <coughs> excuse me the film's really about Hayley Bennett's character and her journey because during one of her therapy sessions she just kind of lets slip very nonchalantly about her father um, and her father's relationship to her mother and that's just like slipped in but it's it's a fairly large um, part of the story which I'm not going to go into so you kind of get the idea that her reasoning for starting to swallow objects is about that event um, in her life and finding out where she's from and then the second half of the film as her object swallowing escalates um, and the treatment treatment that the family suggests for her um, gets more and more severe that's where the film kind of shifts to her journey of kind of finding out her roots and then therefore taking control of her life for perhaps the first time um, and changing her life um, hopefully for the good because you do want it to work out for her because again you're on her side from pretty much the start of the film just the way she's treated by her husband and her mother and father-in-law um, but overall, a really good film. Another one from 2019. This is ridiculous. I'll have to go back to the safety of my films from the 50s and 60s and 40s. Um, but this is an interesting film to check out. But of course, don't forget its sister film, Butt Boy. It's a nice double bill um, for putting objects in orifices. Um, yeah, Swallow... Um, really good modern film I know that it's a little bit baffling for me that's a bit of a strange concept for me to get my head around um, but that's Swallow please let me know if you've seen Swallow and what you thought of it and hopefully you'll join me again for more random reviews this is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films saying cheerio